What's up guys, welcome back to another Pokemon Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle, and oh my god, it feels so good to say that once again. God, it's been like two weeks with no uploads. I apologize guys, I've just had some stuff going on. I do have some good news for you guys though. My stepsister actually moved out to go back to college, so that means I can record at night without having to worry about waking people up. Um, so uploads for the time being should be more frequent, so I know you guys are going to enjoy that. Also, I will be starting up a job here soon. Um, I'm actually just waiting on them. They've already approved me and everything. I'm just waiting on them to give me my start date. Um, so uploads might be, until I start the job, uploads should be more frequent. And then once I actually like get into the swing of the new job and everything, then um, I'll just have to make myself like some new video recording schedule or whatever. But I definitely want to make time for YouTube. <laughs> YouTube. I'm definitely not quitting YouTube anytime soon. I'm still enjoying this. And um, anyway. We are having a PU tier match against Sharpedo43. He's a guy that I've seen battle a lot of the PokeTubers that I watch, actually. So I know this guy knows what he's doing, although he's he said he's not as good in like lower tiers and stuff. And uh, he and I both had some misplays this battle, I'm not going to lie. Um, but <laughs> it's to be expected when I haven't even picked up my 3DS in like two weeks. So I'm definitely a little rusty, guys, so don't judge me on that. But anyway, we're having a PU tier match. Looking at Kevin's team here, he's got the Rotom, uh, I almost said Rotom Heat, Rotom Fan. Um, he's got the Lycanroc, the Hitmonchan, which is probably one of the bigger threats in PU right now. Um, I think it's definitely one of the top tier threats, so I gotta watch out for that thing. He's got a Weezing, a Ludicolo, and a Rapidash. While looking at my team, I actually built my own team for once. It seems lately I've been using like other people's teams and stuff, but I actually built this team by myself. And I have to say, I'm actually, it's kind of a weird looking team, but it actually has done pretty well. <laughs> but uh, anyway, we have a Lantern. This is not your everyday, ordinary Lantern set. It's actually a offensive set with uh, choice specs rather than the bulky set. Um, we also have a Pyloswine to set up rocks. We've got a Shift Tree for Defog. We got a Muck, got a Charizard, and a Girder. So this was a really fun match, guys. I hope you'll enjoy it. So the battle begins, he's going to lead off with his Rotom Fan, as I am going to lead off with my Lantern. I like his nickname, AC. Um, so I actually predicted him to swap um, or go for the Trick. So he's actually going to stay in here, go for the Hidden Power, which I'm assuming is either Grass or Ground. I'm probably thinking it's Grass, just because of his typing. Um, but anyway, I'm actually just going to stay in here, go for the Hydro Pump, and I am Choice Specs, like I mentioned before. And uh, that is going to do a dick load of damage to that Rotom, so... He's actually going to want to conserve his Rotom, and he brings out Bob Barker, which is another really good nickname for the Hitmonchan there. So, And Hitmonchan is a pretty solid threat in the PU tier. I'm definitely going to have to swap out here because I cannot take a Drain Punch, as we'll see later in the battle um, at the range Lantern was at. So I'm going to bring out Come Castle, which is the Muck. I actually stole that nickname from uh, one of Hayden's opponents in one of his more recent videos. But... Uh, Anyway, I predicted the Drain Punch. He's going to go for that. It, it obviously isn't very effective. It still does a decent chunk of damage, though, not going to lie. Um, so he's going to swap out, and he brings out his Weezing, which is a good play. I actually predicted this. I went for the Fire Blast because I know Weezing's more physically uh, defensive rather than special. But the Fire Blast <laughs> does, like, no damage because Muck, unfortunately, does not have the greatest special attack stat in the world. But Anyway, right here, he actually makes a really good play. Predicting my Charizard to come out, he goes out into his Lycanroc, and that is exactly what I'm going to do. So, I'm going to bring out Jose Jalapeno, <laughs> and uh, unfortunately for me, I'm going to not want to stay in here because <laughs> an Excel Rock definitely Oko's my Charizard from full health. So, I'm going to whip out my Pecker now <laughs> as uh, he goes for the Stealth Rock, and this is totally fine for me because I do actually have the Defog on my Shift Tree, so... Here I was predicting a switch, but he actually stays in surprisingly, um, and he goes for the rock slide. It does a decent amount of damage. I go for the knockoff here, and uh, it almost kills him actually, but he was focus sashed, so it wouldn't have killed him. He would have lived at one, even if it was going to kill him. So anyway, he's going to actually swap here for some reason. He could have just killed me off. <laughs> I don't know what he was doing there, but um, he's going to bring out the wheezing as I go for the leaf blade here. It's going to do a little bit of chip damage to the Weezing, obviously not much, <laughs> being a resisted hit, and because 
Weezing is bulky as all hell. <laughs> so I'm actually just going to sack off my shift tree here. Go for the defog because I don't want his stealth rocks to be up before my Charizard. Because um, Charizard definitely does a dicking to his team. So he's going to go ahead and kill me off with a sludge bomb here. So down goes my pecker. <laughs> and uh, unfortunately, I will not... I don't know. I mean, I, I guess I didn't really need shift tree too much for this battle. So I'm going to bring out Jose Jalapeno once again. And... Um, Let's see, here I was predicting his Rapidash to come in because I know it gets Flash Fire. So I didn't want to go for the Flamethrower, I actually go for the Air Slash here and luckily he actually does bring out the Rapidash. And um, yeah, the Air Slash is going to be a 2 a KO. I am actually uh, Choice Scarfed Charizard, so I know I'm going to outspeed him unless he is also Choice Scarfed. So I go for another Air Slash, he's not Choice Scarfed, so I'm going to be able to kill off the la the, <laughs> what the hell? I'm going to be able to kill off the Rapidash. I'm assuming he's probably one of those... I think the standard Rapidash set right now is like a Z-Crystal or something. But uh, he's going to bring back out his Lycanroc. And I really think my opponent probably should have set up the Stealth Rocks here. But for whatever reason, he doesn't. So he just goes for the Excel Rock. <laughs> I don't know if he thought I was just going to stay in there or what. But uh, I'm going to bring out Mo Lester, the Girder. And uh, he's obviously going to get the hell out of here conserving his, uh, his Lycanroc. He's going to bring back out the Weezing, which is totally fine. I'm going to go for a Mach Punch here. Obviously does, like, no damage. <laughs> and here I kind of messed up. Um, I probably <laughs> I probably should have conserved my Girder a lot better this battle. Um, I'm actually going to allow him to hit me with a Sludge Bomb, which is also going to poison me, which is a good thing and a bad thing. It's good because it activates my Guts ability, but it's also bad because I'm going to be taking that residual damage every turn. So I go for the bulk up there, get plus one attack, plus one defense, I'm going to take some toxic damage, and here I just decide to go for the knockoff, because <laughs> honestly it's the only neutral attack I have against this Weezing, so he's going to go for another Sludge Bomb. Girder actually tanks that pretty well, I go for the knockoff, does a decent amount of damage because I'm at plus one and I have Guts activated, but uh, unfortunately for me, <laughs> Girder is only at 17 HP, so he's actually going to swap here. Um, to conserve his Weezing, so he's really letting me wear down a lot of his team. Um, I'm going to go for the Mach Punch here as he brings out the Rotom. It's actually going to kill the Rotom. So, actually, I wonder <laughs> I wonder if he was like a more bulky set, if that would have even killed. But anyway, we're going to have a double down here. And uh, I kind of figured he would uh, bring out his Lycanroc, because usually when you have a double down, you bring out the fastest thing on your team. So, I went into Wallaby. And uh, this is obviously very good for me. I actually thought he would just kill this thing off and just set up rocks again, but he doesn't. He swaps back out into the Ludicolo, so I just went for the Volt Switch here. <laughs> kind of seeing if he would go for Stealth Rocks, but he didn't. So I'm actually able to get some clean damage off on this Ludicolo. And uh, I go into my Muck here, and once again, I kind of make a little bit of a misplay. Um, letting, well, I think it's a little later in the battle, letting Muck... Uh, go down, but anyway, he's gonna go for the Z move here. It's gonna be the Hydro Vortex, and Muck is so damn bulky on the special side, it eats this Hydro Vortex like it's nothing. So, I think this Muck has max HP 44 into special defense and an assault vest. So, I actually eat that like it's nothing. I go for the poison jab, that's going to kill off the Ludicolo because it is super effective, of course. And uh, I was really hoping he would bring out the Lycanroc, um, because I do have the Shadow Sneak here, and I think I would be able to live an Excel Rock, maybe. Um, not 100% sure, but anyway, he brings out his Hitmonchan. I probably should have swapped, honestly. Um, I probably should have not let my Muck go down there. <laughs> but, um, yeah, live and learn. I bring out Wallaby once again, my Lantern, and here we'll learn that I cannot take a Drain Punch. Um, so that really sucks. Now this Hitmonchan is like at max health. And this thing is a massive problem to my team. Like, I don't even know what I'm going to do to this thing. It's that bad. So I'm going to bring back out Jose Jalapeno. And uh, I believe I go for the Air Slash, if I'm not mistaken. As he brings out his Weezing once again. So Weezing, obviously not the most specially bulky thing. This Air Slash is going to kill off the Weezing. Thankfully. <laughs> so I got rid of uh, one of his walls here. And uh, I can't remember what he brings out next. Okay, he brings out the Lycanroc. Yeah, that makes sense. And obviously I can't stay in here because, like I said before, I cannot live an Excel Rock. 
So this is where the battle gets really, really interesting. So I actually bring out my boy Piloswine as he goes for the Excel Rock. It actually doesn't do that much damage. I was actually really impressed. <laughs> um, but I, I'm actually even more impressed here because he brings out the Hitmonchan as I go for the Ice Shard here, trying to kill off the Lycanroc. But uh, Ice Shard does a decent amount of damage, not gonna lie. And uh, he's, I'm actually gonna stay in here and uh, take the Drain Punch, and holy shit, dude, I was not expecting to take that Drain Punch. I honestly thought my opponent had me licked here, <laughs> but uh, I go for the EQ here, and uh, it's going to do even more damage than, of course, the Ice Shard, so I'm pretty... It's it's looking like a roll. Um, the EQ plus Ice Shard is definitely looking like a roll. Do I do it? Yes, I actually get a crit there. Like I said, I'm not sure if that crit mattered. Um, I think had I gotten a high roll on the Ice Shard, it would have killed. So, I don't know. I'll have to calc it later. But anyway, this is really fucking cool. So, he brings out the Lycanroc. He goes for the Excel Rock. He gets a crit. And I live on 5 HP. I go for the Ice Shard, and that is going to kill off the Lycanroc. So, Pyloswine, the fucking MVP of this battle. Holy shit, guys. I don't even have any bulk investment other than HP on Pyloswine. I think I have like 220 EVs in HP, so it's not even max. And then I don't have any defense investment, and I took a Drain Punch from a Hitmonchan and a Crit Excel Rock from a Lycanroc. Dude, Pyloswine is so fucking good, but I hope you guys enjoyed that battle. Leave a like if you did, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, hit me up on Discord if you want to battle. Links as always are in the description below. I love you guys, and peace out.